Periods could also be a choice. Hi guys, welcome back to the Benita Special. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Yo, what's up? My name is Nigel. I'm an art student. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Muzi. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Charlie. You're not Charlie. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is not Charlie. <laughs> So guys, today we're going to be speaking about periods, but they're going to ask us questions that guys have always wanted to ask about periods, but didn't want to get punched in the face for it. So let's go. What you guys got? Um, <clears throat> yeah. First question. Uh, do periods make it difficult to live like everyday life? Yes. Like, if okay, if you have period pains, it's difficult to live, right? Because you are in pain, but like, you can't miss school, you can't get off work, you don't, no days off, you don't get to go, stay home because you're in pain, yeah. but you are in actual pain, so it does make it difficult to live. It's sometimes you can't even sit. You can't sit still. You need to like, sometimes you sit upside down, you pace, you stand, like you can't sit still. So can you imagine you're in work, in a meeting, yeah. and you can't sit still? Know what I mean? Exactly. Keeping active actually does help, hence maybe you can go to the gym because it actually does help alleviate the pain a bit, but it does make it difficult to live. But that's from a perspective of someone with period pain. So from someone without, does it make it difficult to live? Yes, because for example, yes, it's good for you to actually gym when you're on your period, but I feel very uncomfortable. Like, firstly, um, you're on your period and sometimes I, 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 I can't squat, I can't do anything because I, I just feel uncomfortable. That's the only thing, honestly. How did you first like experience? The first, yeah. first period experience? Yeah. Okay, so I was in class, right? I was in primary school. And like, I just felt like I was peeing, but I didn't need to pee, but I felt like I was peeing. And I didn't understand. Then I went to the bathroom and there was blood. And then I told my mom. But like Kotex had come to the school. So like I guess I knew what was going on. Oh. Then she bought me a pad and that was it. It wasn't consistent. So like some months I wouldn't get it and I'd be so happy. I didn't even think I was pregnant. I couldn't be. So. Yeah. Damn, enjoy. I'm very proud. Where did I die from? You know? I was in primary and it was one morning. And I just went to the toilet. And then I saw blood. I don't know, I wasn't freaking out though. I was kind of like excited. And then my husband, yeah, because I'm growing, bro. Yeah. And then my husband's like, oh, my whole <laughs> That means and, you're growing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and yeah. You guys didn't ask for this. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You guys haven't made peace with it as well? No, you can't. You know, sometimes I try to tell myself, I'm like, come on, bro. It's the same pain every month. Get over it. Nope. It's different every month. How long does it last? Okay. Um, so it depends on how long your period is for. So like, for instance, for people who have periods for seven days, the pain might be there for like three days, two days. For people who have periods for three days, probably just stay for one day. But for some people, the pain starts even before the period comes. Yeah. Like a warning sort of. So yeah. Can oh, you yeah. swim when you're on your period? Well, you know. <laughs> okay, honestly, People say you shouldn't swim when you're on your period, like they like it's, they say it's gross and stuff. But honestly, you can swim because the blood doesn't come out when you're swimming, like it stops. It's when you get out of the pool or whatever that the blood all like. Like it scares you out. Is it like immediately after you like get out of the pool? Like yeah, like as soon as you get out, sort of, or like a minute after it like oh. comes out. Yeah, but like when you're in the water, it stops. So like, should you not swim on your period even though the water stops? Yeah. You should as well. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I can't. I never. Because it's gross. So, like, so, like, if we host like a pool party vibe, then you should work around your, your period schedule. But apparently, you can't <laughs> swim when you have a tampon, though. You can. How? I don't know. <laughs> because it's because she swam the one time with tampon inside. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. I mean, you can't swim with a pad on. Yeah. That's for sure. So, if you're swimming on your period, you're swimming with a swimming costume on and nothing on. And you're capitalizing on the blood not coming out. 
I think, I think, Wait, I think. You can't swim with a tampon on. With a tampon, you can, but with a oh, yeah. pad, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, the swimming industry could, like, bank on something like that, you know? Sharing, I'm a costume. Look like a. Yeah, I would like. Yeah, like, I don't think I don't think it's that serious to like swim when you're in your period. Yeah, I don't think like, they make that much money. But if you like a swimmer. No, but but it's it's I think it's it's like a way. Yeah, that must suck. Yeah. Like, if you're a professional swimmer and like the biggest league is like on yeah, it's or like Olympics, like, and you're like, like, practicing for it, and then you're playing and then like what do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're panicking there. There's like ten professional Yo. swimmers. But um, and that puts you as like. They'll buy it. But yeah. that puts you at a disadvantage too to the next person who's swimming and she's fighting you along if you still swim. That's a good question. So, yeah, yeah I think this, would be this is a question, Tina. I used to know this one girl. And she was like, she can stop the blood from like oozing out by like putting her legs up. Is that like a real thing? I thought she was lying and she was like, she's like, you know? Bruh. Sits in like a weird position. Oh, like, like when you when you have a nosebleed and you and touch you know. it. Exactly. Actually, that's a good boy. <laughs> so you <yeah. laughs> I'm like a girl. Did you tell us going on? But like, under what circumstance do you need to do that? Yeah. When you're bleeding. When you're bleeding, like, I don't have time for that. Like, you know, when, you, when, you, when your nose is bleeding and you're like, oh, man. Oh, oh. he's awful. So, you're at home and you, you just decide I'm going to sit with my legs up. Yeah. Yeah. But why? Yeah. Sitting with your legs up is not going to stop the, the, your period. Like, it stops the nosebleed. It won't stop your period. Will you stop the blood there? It's yeah. gravity. Yeah. Gravity. Look, I mean, if you're sitting up, obviously your blood won't be pouring out. But your period doesn't stop. So you guys don't feel anything with the blood coming out? It's like when you're bleeding, you don't feel that part. It's just, it's for like, the, for the okay. most part, you don't. When the blood comes out, no, you don't feel it every time the blood comes out. Yeah. But there's like special times where, like, you can feel it. Like, mm. it's, like it's like, and there's also, do you guys know that there's also blood clots? Yes. Yeah. Why do you look like that? Mm. Blood clots? No. Like, yeah, they yeah, yeah. come out. Mm. No, it's like. Me, I don't like blood. Like, does it bump up? <laughs> no, there's like. <laughs> hey, no, there's it's like, like a blanket. Blobs. No, blobs. Oh, like, blood, yeah. a blanket. Like, like, like a ball of blood. Blood clots. Okay. Me, I was thinking like they. Bumper clots. Bumper clots. Bumper clots. I'm not explaining it, but you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like the no. blood sticks together and stuff. Yeah, and it, like, it closes the. The whole vagina wall. wall. The organ. What? Charlie thought the blood stops you from bleeding. <laughs> like the blood? <laughs> oh, oh, it like clots the way! It's totally politically correct. The blood stops you The blood clot comes out your vagina. In like, forms of balls. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm like sympathetic with the whole period thing, but that's like... What <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> That's like a what the fuck thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure girls also like, okay, this is like kind of weird. Like, to see that happening for the first time, I can fuck it. You know what I think yeah. is like an equivalent, man, for gents? Circumcision. Yo, don't ever compare. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Be like, it's like brief, man. Circumcision is brief. As... Circumcision is a choice. Okay. Oh, it's a choice. Periods could also be a choice. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, 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 no. How could there be a choice? You can go on the pill of the needs. I was a point in the way. Ultimate pain is like, understanding what you're going through. The ultimate pain is not having a choice over something that invades your body every single month and puts you through the utmost pain and having no one understand you and having no choice about it for the next 40 to 45 years of your life consistently every month. Yeah. Wow. Thanks a lot. for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe, like, share, subscribe, share, tap, comment, watch it twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. And yeah. share. I'll be back with more videos. And if you guys want more of these kind of discussions, comment down below what you want the topic to be. If you want to see these people again, comment down below and I'll bring them back for you.
Peace and love, guys.